Prince Harry was criticized for being unable to cope with the bad press he sometimes receives and was accused of having the thinnest skin in the royal family, unlike Meghan Markle who does not even read what the media writes about her. The harsh criticism of the Duke of Sussex came from talk radio host Dan Wooden who argued Prince Harry is bristling about even the smallest criticism of him. Mr. Wooten claimed that unlike his wife Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry reads absolutely everything it is written about him and curses at his staff when he is not happy about what he sees. He said, I can tell you because I report a lot on the royal family. Harry has been bristling about even the smallest criticism of him for some years now. And actually, he has the thinnest skins of any member of the royal family. So, unlike Meghan, because she swears that actually, she doesn't even read her own press, my royal sources tell me that Harry reads everything. And he often stews over the most minor of slights. So he will sit in that publicly funded mansion, because it's not a cottage, it's a pound 2.4 million mansion refurbished by us on taxpayers' money. He'll watch the TV coverage and he'll flick through the newspapers and look at all of those articles online about him, cursing his staff. And obviously, it's so much easier for them to blame anything uncomfortable on racism. Rather than actually addressing the fact that much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have come under scrutiny from the media in recent months, notably over the way they have handled the birth of their newborn son. Archie Harrison. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to keep certain details around the birth of their son private and held Archie's christening behind closed doors. Meghan and Prince Harry's son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, is seventh in line to the British throne. A statement from Buckingham Palace about Archie's christening read, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor will be christened in a small private ceremony by the Archbishop of Canterbury in the private chapel at Windsor Castle on Saturday. July 6. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex look forward to sharing some images taken on the day by photographer Chris Allerton. The godparents, keeping with their wishes, will remain private. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, has warned Meghan and Prince Harry will always have a problem in keeping the life of their son private. The royal expert hinted Prince Harry and Meghan could have a similar arrangement, like with the children of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, over the privacy of Archie. He said, it's a real goldfish bowl. Any member of the royal family expects global interest. When you have Meghan, who is unique particularly with what she has to give, and given her background as a senior member of the royal family, you would expect the scale of interest, there is no doubt about it. Obviously, I don't know what the Queen herself thinks, but there is no question that anyone who joins the royal family, as a senior member, and it is the world's most high-profile royal family, the interest is nothing short of phenomenal, and always will be. He added, this is the problem regarding Archie, so to speak, as a private citizen, obviously, he must be given the chance, as William and Harry had, and those were in the days of the paparazzi, as George, Charlotte, and Louis, the same sort of arrangements, that for some access, and we had wonderful photos at the polo, for example you get privacy. That is absolutely essential. There is no question I think in the future Archie will be wonderfully placed himself to be someone who has a tremendous amount to give in the charitable field.